Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to go through an example of calculating percent error. Now remember, percent error is a way for us to see how accurate a measurement or estimation is relative to or compared to the actual value. Basically, it's a way for us to see how far off a measurement or estimation is expressed as a percentage. Now to calculate percent error, we take the measured value or estimated value and subtract the actual value. Then we take the absolute value of that result. So if it's negative, it will turn positive. Then we divide that by the actual value. This will give us a decimal. We then multiply the decimal by 100 to convert it to a percent. Let's jump into our example where we have, you measure the length of an object and get a measurement of 10.9 centimeters. The actual length of the object is 10.7 centimeters. Calculate your percent error round to the nearest percent. So let's come over here and set this up. We have percent error equals, and now we need the absolute value of the measured value minus the actual value. The measured value is 10 and 9 tenths minus the actual value of 10 and 7 tenths divided by the actual value, 10 and 7 tenths, times 100. And now we can work through this, starting with the subtraction. So we have 10 and 9 tenths minus 10 and 7 tenths. That gives us 0 0.2, 2 tenths. And we need to divide that by the actual value times 100. Now we need the absolute value of 2 tenths, which is just 2 tenths. Divided by the actual value times 100. And now we need to divide. So we need to do 2 tenths divided by 10 and 7 tenths. So 0.2 divided by 10.7. That gives us 0. 0.0. 1, 8, and that decimal continues on. So I'm going to stop there because we're going to round to the nearest percent. And we need to multiply by 100 here. So now let's multiply that decimal by 100 in order to convert it to a percent. And we do that by moving the decimal once, twice to the right. That gives us 1.8 and that decimal continues on. So let's round to the nearest percent. And when we round to the nearest percent, we round to the ones place. We have a one in the ones place with an eight to the right in the tenths. So this rounds to 2%. Our percent error here is approximately 2%. Percent. And I'm using the approximately symbol there since we rounded. That means that the measurement of 10.9 centimeters was off the actual length of 10.7 centimeters by about 2%. So there you have it. There's an example of calculating percent error. If you'd like a more detailed explanation, check out my introduction to percent error. That link is in the description along with other examples. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.